Antonio Mujica and his partner Alfredo Anzola received a small business loan from the Venezuelan government only months before the recall election. These corporate registration documents from Venezuela show the Venezuelan government owned 28% of the stock of another company they started, Vista, which adapted voting software for the Smartmatic machines in the 2004 elections. The same document shows a Chavez government minister, Omar Montillo, was on the board of directors. The Chavez government gave Vista, Smartmatic, and another company a $91 million contract to run voting machines for the 2004 election. The next year, the owners of Smartmatic, primarily owned by Venezuelan businessmen, bought Sequoia, one of the top electronic voting system companies in the United States, for $16 million. Smartmatic is a labyrinth of international holding companies owned by Venezuelan businessmen. Smartmatic Group NV of Curaçao, Netherlands Antilles, owns Smartmatic International BV of Amsterdam, Netherlands, owns Smartmatic Corporation of Florida, which bought Sequoia Voting Systems of California, USA. When Smartmatic bought the U.S. voting machine companies, the U.S. government did not review the sale. Many experts say those voting machines were manipulated in Venezuela to give President Hugo Chavez a victory. Exit polls done by the U.S. firm Penn Schoen in Berlin had Chavez losing 41% to 59%. But the next day, Chavez declared victory, reversing the score, saying he won 59% of the vote. Everything was computed in the face of the government. So uh, the, the, the only explanation is that the Smartmatic machines had been programmed in that way. A Harvard mathematician crunched the numbers on the Venezuelan election. It had, had to be the Smartmatic system. All these machines talk to a central computer and report on their results. And in, in, that, in, in that mechanism, as they communicate with the center, the central machine can report anything. Smartmatic is technically based in Boca Raton, Florida, but the president of the company, Jack Blaine, testified to the Chicago City Council. Fewer than a dozen Smartmatic employees work in Florida. The majority of the workers are based in Venezuela.